Alright, welcome back. We got another game here in the Black White Through Plasma Storm format with this deck. And we get the most feared opening uh, with this deck, which is Lone Duskull. Uh, you know, we even have Ditto to try to transform into an Articuno. But uh, anyway, at least we get to go first, so that's that's decent. Um, and we got Skyla and Juniper, so thinking maybe... Um, I also have my Prism, so if I really wanted to, I could confuse Ray. But uh, let's try to use our attachments a little bit more productively if we can. Um, apparently I've got two full heal in here, <laughs> but uh, three? Is that? Nah, it can't be three. Um, anyway, we're gonna take Alter Ball, and we're gonna discard a basic water, and I guess Catcher? Sure. Um, we're gonna get out Articuno and use our attachments productively, uh, throw down that Prism on him, um, and I'll wait to switch, I guess. Um, although, I don't know, maybe I should, because uh, one nasty habit that Duskull has is getting knocked out by Sableyes, like, that happens a lot. <laughs> But anyway, um, there's a Dark Claw on Darkrai, so uh, I'm not really fearing to turn one Night Spear, uh, at least not with this board. Um, but uh, you never know what, what travails Juniper might bring. There's an Ultra Ball, looks like a Revive got discarded there. Gets a Sableye. And there's one, one step that you, well, pro I guess, there's, I guess you don't actually need Sableye for the turn one Night Spear, but uh, anyway, we do have a laser. Um, so there's an attachment from the hand to Darkrai and pass, so not so bad, not so bad. Um, so we're gonna attach Plasma, switch in, and Juniper, and we get no Caller's Machine, so we're not gonna be able to Blizzard. But uh, we get down a second Dust Skull. Um, I could use this level ball, and this is one reason I run Dust Clops. Um, I could have got a Dust Clops there and evolved. Um, Maybe at this point I took him out? I don't know. Um, but if I had it in there, I didn't exactly be too thorough, so I didn't check and see if it was prized. But uh, definitely should have had a Dusclops there, because that would have been a Noir next turn. Um, that's I mean, that's one reason I run Level Ball, is for that. Uh, but anyway, uh, we attach a Water, and now we're going to be able to at least Blizzard. Um, do I want to call us for six? Yes, I do, because he only has one card in his hand. Could be a Juniper, but eh, you know. I'll, uh, I won't take that chance if I don't have to. Um, I almost click end turn, and then I realize, oh wait, I can blizzard, so, uh, <laughs> we are gonna do that. And, uh, there's a shiny random receiver into a Juniper. Uh, but he actually doesn't play it. Um, could have been a case of you're clicking OK and you accidentally click end turn. Um, that's certainly a possibility, but, uh, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away in and Dust Skull and get out Noir, who I probably should have had this turn anyway, or last turn maybe, but whatever. Um, he's on board now, and um, the Sableye, uh, I can actually just kind of keep it up, and using, uh, well actually now I might want to prefer to get uh, something else. Uh, since he did rando into that Juniper, um, I don't have too many qualms about playing this in, since I know that's in his hand. Again, I'm just going to assume for the moment that that was a misclick in turn, which is unfortunate. But uh, either way, we're going to Sinister Hand the damage off. Uh, one thing we do have to be very cautious of against Darkrai is that, uh, you know, Dust Noir is weak to Dark, which he, um, is, uh, means that he gets knocked out by Darkrai very easily. And uh, I actually decide to not risk trying to end into a catcher, and I just decide to be content to Frost or um, Blizzard and get spread damage around. Um, he'll need... Um, I don't know what's in his discard, but I assume he's got to have at least one dark. So a uh, dark patch or an energy switch and an attachment. Um, an attachment either way. We'll still get him a night spear. Um, of course, the main thing I'm fearing with that is that he's also going to catch her up in the war at the same time. Um, which I guess I can respond with an N uh, to punish the prize taken. But, uh, you know, um, shouldn't be able to knock out Articuno this turn. And... But uh, there is a laser, oh no, that's a uh, Junk Hunt for Laser and Revive. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down my full bench, and since he did just Junk Hunt, that's usually a good time to end, and uh, that is indeed what we will do. Um, now I have an Escape Rope here, but since he's got that Sableye benched, he could just promote that, so it's going to make it pointless to try to use that Escape Rope as a catcher on the Darkrai. So I think we're, we may just be content to continually use Blizzard. Um, apparently we don't need to use Frost Prison. Um, I mean, uh, it's going to be doing the same total amount of damage, and it's going to stay on the board. Um, I believe I'm... Do I, I don't know if I have enough damage. Do I have enough damage to kill the Darkrai? I might. Um, it does have two Dark on it, and, uh, you know, Darkrai doesn't exactly come out of nowhere as well as decks like Blastoise do. 
Uh, there's need 80 more. Um, I've got 50 there. I think I think we can do this actually. Um, but it looks like I'm gonna actually blizzard and knock out that Sableye. Um, I think I could have n t taken the knockout on Darkrai there. But uh, oh well, this is uh, still one of the early games with this deck before I learn how to play it properly, I guess. Um, actually, that looks like it's only one Dark. So uh, having to promote that, I guess, means it can't be Dark Patch too. But uh, anyway, um, either way, I should be able to live a hit. Um, uh, but there's a Dark Patch, so there's still an attachment and an energy switch, and uh, we can still see a Night Spear. One of the many, many things Darkrai can do, but uh, looks like he's just gonna retreat and junk hunt, I guess. Yep, one energy on both, and what is that? That's red. That is a Next Destiny's Reshiram, originating from Black White. Um, obviously being used as a clean clean counter, since uh, at this point in time, Absol uh, is not out. But uh, mainly just used for Outrage, and probably a really bad idea as a clean clean counter, since it's just a... Uh, you know, uh, Righteous Edge and Steel Bullet from being knocked out without too much offensive presence. Um, but anyway, there is also an Enhanced Hammer, and uh, uh, Sableye Enhanced Hammer typically will ruin this deck. Um, you know, you gotta get the Freeze Lock on before they can get too many hammers back. And uh, keep Junk Hunting, you definitely cannot allow that. So we may need to get this Sableye out of here ASAP. Uh, but I, I keep thinking there's two energy on that Dark Ride, but I think it's actually just a Dark Claw, so... Um, uh, looks like he got rid of my prism with that though. I did have two plasma energies on there, so uh, that actually wasn't too bad a move. Um, maybe preventing me from using frost prism on this next turn, and uh, yeah, I've got two plasmas and a water, so I need an attachment to uh, be able to use frost prism, although I haven't used it so far this game. Um, so let's see, we do have some, we had some damage built up around his board, um, so let's use Noir a little bit here and see what we want to do. Uh, there's only one hurt Pokemon, so we'll just move damage uh, around. And uh, also, there was a max potion there that uh, removed all the damage we had built up on that Darkrai, which probably should have been knocked out by Sinister Hand. I'm, or Sinister Hand, and uh, I think I would have needed a Blizzard for 10 to knock it out. But uh, anyway, we are going to Skyla, and I should probably take a supporter. Uh, this is when I still had a he heavy count of Shirin. Um, uh, somehow I was able to check my discard. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, but now there's like a little glitch where I'm viewing my discard pile and my deck at the same time. It's really weird. Um, but I think we're back to viewing the deck now. And what am I going to grab? Uh, I guess I'll grab an N. Uh, that'll be... I don't really like this hand too much, so I don't mind getting rid of it. Um, so we're going to do Blizzard, and I am going to take the knockout on Sableye this turn. Um, there is a Water, so we'll be able to... He should have an uh, Enhanced Hammer in the hand that he can use to get rid of just the plasma um, since the other one I believe is a basic water and he can outrage um, for how much is on that at least at least 20 it looks like so it should be an out outrage for at least 40 but uh, he ends me 2-4 and eh, not so bad we got another rare candy into another noir and a juniper so and a chorus machine uh, however I stay asleep from laser so that's a problem uh, but we, we will go ahead and rear candy into this Dusk Noir. Uh, it's, I guess that's fine, putting it on the uh, the damaged one. Shouldn't matter too much. Darkrai should be knocking me out one hit regardless. Um, I don't know. Possibly working in uh, multiples of 30. Maybe, have, ah, whatever. With Night Spear damage. You guys know how it goes. But uh, anyway, we're going to switch uh, into the fresh Articuno. Call Wars Machine to it. And I think we only got one water on there. So we will not be able to Frost Prison. But that's okay. Um, got another water in the hand for next turn, uh, playing that other Calmers machine. Uh, oh, oh, how, actually we do have, I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, we do actually have, uh, we could have Frost Prison there, but uh, I guess I decided not to. Uh, but anyway, he's got a field of two Dark Rise now, and uh, doesn't look like either one, well, Dark Claw actually, 110, uh, nope, that actually still would not be enough to knock out my bench Articuno. But uh, either way. We have uh, energy for next turn, uh, but there is another laser. However, we have full heal, so we <laughs> full heal sometimes better than switch. If you only have one attacker powered up and you just want to cancel the status and you don't have a nice free retreater, um, I have since taken out full heal because I can switch and float stone on Dust Noir. But uh, 
Floatstone provides that nice free retreat option. But uh, at this point, you know, full heal, I ran a couple copies of it. Uh, there is there was a Dowsing Machine, and uh, you typically don't care too much about Dowsing Machine yourself down to zero because you can just get back a supporter, which is exactly what happened. And he's got, so I no longer have my full heal, but I do have a Sharan and a Gold Potion. So, uh, looks like this Darkrai on the bench is getting powered up. I don't think it's, looks like it's got two right now. Um, so that's definitely going to be a threat coming in next turn. Uh, but he's going to retreat into Sableye. Uh, I guess he's already attached, otherwise we'd probably see a Night Spear. And uh, this is kind of nice because that means that I won't be able to lock him up with Frost Prison. Um, I know I saw a Keldeo earlier also, so I don't know if that got discarded or not. But anyway, uh, we're going to escape a rope and bring up my Articuno. Again, canceling out the... I think I, I think I stayed asleep off Hypnotoxic there as well. Um, check his discard pile. Nope, Keldeo is not yet in there, so that's still something uh, that we're going to have to contend with. So I just Shirin for three, uh, get my full heal, and yeah, this Articuno still has 120 left, so it would require Laser Bank to uh, knock it out with Night Spear. Um, or just a laser, actually. A laser with Dark Claw would actually be sufficient as well. Um, however, I'm going to use Gold Potion, and that's why that's in this deck, because uh, wipes damage off the field. Um, you know, I used to think about Scramble Switch, but the thing about Scramble Switch is, uh, yeah, you can move energy to a fresh Articuno, but um, the damage is still there for a prize to be taken, like two prizes to be taken later. So he ends me to three again, and uh, not the worst assortment of cards I guess I could have been given. Um, got a switch and a full heal to get out of status, and got a water energy to get out of stuff. And he catches up Noir, and sure enough, there's Laser. Will I stay asleep from Laser for the third time this game? Uh, not that it's really going to matter, but we'll see if I will anyway. Um, so we're going to see a Junk Hunt here, I'm sure. Um, probably getting back Enhanced Hammers would be the best option. Uh, just running Articuno out of Plasma Energies, and uh, I think he's only got one in there, so that's what he had to work with. And yep, I stayed asleep on Laser for the third time this game. Uh, fortunately, it has been irrelevant every time, so uh, we're just going to be able to switch out of this and come back in and go on the offensive. Um, so which one do I want to push up? This one's got full HP, so I'm thinking we're, we're going to go with that one. Uh, it's got the lower chance to be one-shotted. Um, I believe we, we would be able to Frost Prison if I wanted to, but uh, it's going to be more advantageous to Blizzard if I'm going to be taking the knockout anyway. So... Uh, how much damage is on that? I should definitely move off until it's got 10 left uh, if I intend to blizzard. And, eh, you know, maybe we, we might also... I'm not sure how much damage is built up at this point, but uh, we might also want to consider knocking out that Dark Rye if I can. Um, actually, I believe we might be able to win the game this turn, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there is a substantial amount of damage built up and uh, one of the nice things about Blizzard is uh, damage is more than one poke. So uh, you know you can get some damage spread around and uh, we just need to leave 10 on that Sableye. Or wait, actually I believe we're going to be 10 short. I believe there's 170 damage on his field. So let's see, it's got 100 left, it's got 50 more, it's got 10, it's got 10. Eh. Uh, looks like we're going to be 10 short of being able to knock out one of these things. Uh, I think I'm fooling around with Sinister Hand again. But uh, we're going to Sinister Hand and move as much as we can to Darkrai. Uh, it's got 40 HP left. We're going to keep using Sinister Hand. And yep, we only got three more damage counters to move. Uh, but if we do that, we don't knock out the active Sableye. But wait! What's that in the hand? It's a Hypnotoxic Laser! And with that, we're going to be able to Blizzard for 60, knock out the Darkrai on the bench, take my two prizes, and poison for the final knockout, and there you go. We had just enough damage to get this victory, and probably surprised him. But uh, we got a 6 hill victory out of it. Uh, MVP was apparently Reshiram. Uh, I think that's the only thing that did damage to me, so I guess that's the case. But uh, pretty nice uh, play at the end there. Uh, that's some of the stuff that I love about this deck. Uh, Dusk Noir and Articuno are awesome when paired together. So yeah, that's it for the Plasma Storm stuff. Uh, next couple games will include Plasma Free, so we'll have a different deck list, uh, kind of like the one I had in the intro video. So, thanks for watching, and freeze on, later days.